Hi, I'm Karen. Welcome to my channel. This is where I share my experiences using cruelty-free skincare and makeup on mature skin. Today, I'm going to unbox my June Petty Four box. But before I do that, I want to show you what I got in my May box and give you a review of those products. Let's get started. Here's my May box. And there's all the products and the card that came with the box. The first thing here is from K-Voss. This is the K-Voss Fairy Dust Highlighter. This sells for $28, and I just love this highlighter. Here it is in the pan, and I've got it on my cheeks today, on the tops of my cheekbones. I've heard some people say that they think this is too dark to be a highlighter, and I don't think so. I'm, if you were super fair skinned, maybe, or if you're someone who likes a blinding white dramatic highlighter, then maybe this would be too dark. But if you're someone like me, I've, I've got light to medium skin tone or someone who's a little darker than me, I think that this is a perfect natural looking highlight. There it is on my hand. I think it just gives a beautiful warm golden glow. It doesn't accentuate my texture like so many highlighters can do. It doesn't look at all artificial. It just looks like a natural glow, which is what I'm after with a highlighter. So I'm thrilled with this. The next thing that was in my May box is this. This is from LM & Co. This is the Crystal Infused Toner Spray, and this sells for $22. This is made with Cucumber, mint, and infused with real amazonite crystals. As you can see them there in the bottom of the bottle. I think it's a really cool touch. And powders. I think this is a beautiful facial mist. It's great for a hot summer day. I keep this in my fridge. We haven't gotten to the hottest part of our summer yet here in San Diego. July through October is when we get our hotter temperatures. But we have had a couple of hot days. So I've used this, as you can see, some already and I think it's just a beautiful facial mist. It has a fine mist and that scent, oh, that cucumber mint scent is so refreshing. Just absolutely love this. And I don't know if I said this, but it sells for $22. The next thing in here, I can't tell you anything at all about. This is the Gold Fadden MD Bright Eyes. This little bottle sells for $8. I can't get anything to come out of this. I have pumped this and pumped this and pumped this and nothing happens. I've worked with it and worked with it. I had my husband look at it. He says it looks like the mechanism is fine in it. He thinks that there's nothing in here. And I think he's right. It came just like this. It came with the pump up like that, open with nothing over top. So I think whatever was in here has either evaporated or leaked out in transit. It's... I think it's empty. I'd be interested to hear if anyone else got this in their Petty Four box. Was there anything in your bottle? <laughs> if you get the Petty Four box, let me know down below if you got this and if there was any product in it. But that one obviously was a fail for me, not because of the product, but because of the packaging, I guess. The next thing is this one. I don't speak French, so I'm going to totally slaughter this, but it's the Petite Histoire Enve Desoir, <laughs> sorry, perfume oil. When I sampled this and gave my first impressions during my May box unboxing, I said that I love this scent, and I did, and I do straight from the bottle. Unfortunately, after I have this on my skin, it turns and I can't stand the scent anymore. It smells totally different and really bad. I don't think it's the product. I think it's me. I think it's my skin chemistry. I have that problem with a lot of different fragrances. My friend Lily from the channel Gadget Lily says that maybe the fragrances really aren't turning on me. Maybe it's just that my perception of the scent over time changes. Uh, that could be true. Even if that is true, I still don't enjoy it. And I really don't think that's true for a lot of fragrances anyhow, because I have asked people, does this smell the same as it did when I first put it on? And they'll tell me, no, it doesn't. So I really do think that my body chemistry changes a fragrance. 
fragrances that I can wear are few and far between. They do exist though. This isn't one of them, but in another Petty Bore box a couple of months ago, I got this one from Inkling Scents. This is the scent Sultry, and I love this scent, and I can wear this one, and it doesn't turn on me, so I'm very happy that I have this one. Disappointed that I can't wear this one. Then the last thing that we got in our May box is this. This is from Andalo Naturals, and this is the 1000 Roses Lotion. This sells for $3. I really have enjoyed this lotion. As you can see the indentation there, how much I've used, it's down to here now. And I think it's a wonderful lotion. It smells fantastic. It has a fresh roses scent. It doesn't smell like that heavy, perfumey, rosy scent that a lot of people think of when they think of a rose scent. No, this smells like real roses. I love the scent of this. And it feels great on the skin. It's very moisturizing, but light. Not at all heavy on the skin. Very happy I got that one. So for me, this was a good box. The retail for all of the products in this box would be $67. But even if you take off the products that I wouldn't buy, I still got great value for this box. I'm taking off this one because for one thing, I don't think that there should be a value placed on a little perfume sampler this size. These are what you get as free samples with orders. It's not something I think that should have a value on it. So I'm taking off that $6. Even if it had worked for me, I don't think that it's fair to, to consider this as part of the value. And then I'm taking off for this product that I can't get anything out of the bottle, which um, retails for $8. But even so, even if you discount the products that I love, I have got $53 in value here. And I think that that is a great value for an $18 box. $53 and I paid $18. I'm happy. Now, let's move on and see what I got in my June box. I cut away the tape, but I haven't opened this box yet. I did watch an unboxing by Kat on the channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl, but I subscribed to this box in December, and in December, I got the same things that Kat did, but every month since then, I've gotten maybe one or two things the same as Kat, and everything else in my box, the other two or three things have been different, so... I'm thinking maybe I'm going to have a couple of surprises in this box. Here's the card. Looks like summer fruit, which is appropriate for a June box. Let's see what we have. Okay, the first thing here is from Lauren B. Beauty. It's Nail Growth Serum. Ooh, and this retails for $75. Wow. It says this sheer blend of amino acids, antioxidants, vitamins E and C, peptides, and vegan biotin is salvation for your nails. Whether fragile, brittle, or already healthy, your nails will grow stronger and glossier than ever. Well, I'm really, really excited about this. For one thing, $75 value is amazing. But besides that, this is something I can really use. Up until about a year and a half ago, I got gel manicures every three weeks, like clockwork for years. Until one day I was getting my nails done and the UV light burnt my skin through my nail. My nails were so thin. So that was a wake up call for me. I stopped getting the gel manicures and for a long, long time, my nails were horrendous. They were like paper shredded messes. I couldn't, I had to keep them super, super short. I couldn't use my nails for anything. I put a lot of work into them. I take supplements. I put strengtheners on them. And so my natural nails now are very, very hard, but I'm always happy to have something else that is going to help them stay that way. So I'm thrilled to have this in my box. The next thing here, oh, this is from Jane Iredell. This is the Lip Drink Lip Balm, and this retails for $17. It says, quench your lips with hydrating protection. 
This lip balm leaves lips soft, lemon scented, and protected with Reef Safe Broad Spectrum SPF 15. Love the sound of all of that. I've been wanting to try something from Jane Iredell since I first heard of the brand a couple of years ago. This is my first Jane Iredell product. I love that the SPF is reef safe. I love that it has a lemon scent for summer. Oh, and it does. Mm. Let's see how it does on my lips. I think this is going to be sheer. It's a lip balm, and it is sheer. It's pink in the tube, but it's sheer on my hand. But I want to see how it feels because some SPFs can leave like almost a powdery taste or texture or feel or something in your mouth. I've, I've tried a few that do that. So I'm going to put that on and then leave it on while I look at the next products and I'll tell you how it does. Okay, the next thing is from Be Kind. This is the Nourishing Hand Balm. This sells for $16.00 says, made with a mix of deeply nourishing ingredients, this hand balm moisturizes, soothes, repairs, and promotes tissue healing and leaves a soft floral scent. This is one that Kat did get in her box. These other two products I've gotten so far, she didn't have in her box. So this is kind of true to what's been going on earlier in the year. I get one or two things the same as Kat and one or two things different. I love that personally in a subscription box. I love that they send different people, different things. Okay, right away, this is really thick. That's it on my finger. It's almost like a Vaseline look to it. Let's see how it goes on my skin. Okay, it does liquefy when it gets on my skin, but it is still pretty heavy. Yeah, I'm not gonna use this as a daily hand cream. I'm more likely to use this does smell nice. I'm more likely to use this as a night treatment for my hands or even my feet because this is too heavy for me to use as a hand cream. That would really get on my nerves <laughs> feeling that heavy. I can't stand a heavy greasy hand cream but I'm happy to have it to be able to use it in other ways as a night treatment um, when I have dry, especially because in the summer I live in flip-flops. So this will be great for my heels because flip-flops are really bad for your heels. So this will come in handy one way or another. Okay, the last product in this box, let's see, it looks like it's another one that was in Kat's box. This is from Kai Naturals. This is the Takasumi Detox Deodorant, and this sells for $10. This is a natural bamboo charcoal deodorant stick. Activated charcoal and natural Fermentation technology fight odor causing bacteria, keeping you fresh all day. I'm always happy to try out another natural deodorant. I haven't tried this one out. I am happy with my Kapari deodorant, but I'm always on the lookout for other ones that I like, and so I'm happy to have this one to try. This is a nice size, too. We're going to do a little bit of traveling this summer, some weekend trips, nothing too far, but I'll get some good juice out of this. And it'll be nice to have something else. Mm, oh, it smells really good. Be something else that I can use as a natural deodorant. I've had quite the struggle with my underarms over the years, finding products that work for me and actually work and don't break me out. I could do a whole video on that. Maybe I will one day, <laughs> my deodorant struggles. But this one, this one, we'll see how it works. I'll report back to you. That's it. That's everything I got in my June box. I'm very happy. I think I can get good use out of all of these products in one way or another. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Just hit the subscribe button down below. Ring that notification bell next to that so that you'll know when I post new videos. Bye for now.